Hello again, this video is to show you uh, on the existing door booster that I have here. Uh, in my train station you can see lots of uh, pulse circuits and I'm going to teach you how to make one of those. Or at least try, I'll probably fail. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So here we've got a vertical door booster as normal. And here we're going to run a pressure plate. Now, the problem with hooking the pressure plate directly up to the door, if you step on it, uh, if you're in the cart and you get on the door booster and the cart isn't ready, it's going to fall down. Well, obviously it's not now because, you know, it's not connected, but it's going to fall down. Uh, and it go back around and if you're still on the button or if somebody comes in onto the button before the cart gets all the way back up the door's going to remain open that's going to cause the cart to fall and it's going to mess everything up so what you need to do is set this up so that one once you step on it once the plate goes down it sends a signal and that signal is going to only want to open this door for you know a couple of seconds max before closing it again regardless of how long you step on this plate for. So I'm going to run some redstone. It's going to be really messy, but I guess in theory it's going to work. Uh, okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just don't know how many blocks I have to work with here. Oh, that made it. Awesome. So as I was saying before, stand on it. It's just going to stay open forever, and you don't want that. You want it to close again so that once the booster is back on top, it's going to sit there. So what we have to do now is do some fun stuff. This video assumes that you know the basics. Well, that's not going to work. <laughs> uh, it assumes that you know the basics of redstone. I don't want to go into every little detail. Right. On, off. Now, we want a way to make this take longer so when this turns off that's going to turn on so what we need to do is also put another track into here that is also going to be on we're going to use a couple of delayer blocks just like that uh, on multiplayer servers I usually have the the gap to be the biggest so that's what four I think four delays now when you step on the plate it'll not work exactly the way I wanted it to Oh, and it's night time. I better get to bed before I fix my screw up. Okay. Ah, beds. Okay, I do know what's wrong. Now, because of the way it is, the delay is actually taking so long to get to there. We need to change it so that this section is off. Right. Now when you get on the switch, this goes into this block, makes this on, makes this on. Now this one's only going to go on while both of these are off at the same time. Obviously this length here is very short, so when I step on the switch it's going to be both are going to be black and 
then it takes a couple of seconds, not even, for the signal to go across the back uh, and back into that, and then it closes again. When I get off, it's still going to stay closed. Open, closed. And that's just long enough to have the cart fall down. I think. We'll see. <laughs> So this is how the departures gate work on the train station. Get in, just long enough, and then it sends me off. Obviously it didn't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> damn it. Obviously it didn't, and I remember why. This is the reason, stupid cow, this is the reason uh, we don't put door boosters onto a block button because there just isn't enough momentum when it got, gets onto that block. So what we've actually done in the train station is, well it wasn't very smart was it? Uh, we've done two sets of tracks. Okay, bear with me while I uh, make this. Okay, what we've done is some slight modifications. I uh, just lowered that into the ground, so this is the first booster. Now, it's important to note that door boosters really don't have a lot of momentum at the beginning. So, to combat that, we use a booster to power a booster. That's what this track here is for. This is why we have the electronics all under the station because it will be much easier for me to send a signal from here to there all underground. And actually, you know what? I'm going to do that anyway. button. Now we're just going to dig straight under because it's going to take less time I think. Oops, that was not very smart. brought us pretty close. Awesome. Now I'm probably going to need a repeater in here. So let's just put it here. Now we're going for speed obviously because we want it to drop really quick. Now I get my cart. Oh yeah, I've got to put one on the booster first. Okay. Door booster, loaded. Other booster is also loaded. Now i got to get another cart. Hey, 
Excellent. Now it's not switching because it's a, a stone plate. Boosters, uh, the repeater is under there, so that should bring it up to this level. And then it runs through this pulse, which will open the door for just a fraction of a second, enough to drop the cart down. These two boost away, and the booster boosts me. And off we go. And then, if you go back and have a look, everything is the way it was. Now, if some fool or a cow or whatever comes and steps on the buttons, like, yeah, I'm just going to step on the button and mess up your electronics. Well, guess what? Because of the pulse electronic system, the door resets. That means you can't get in. Oh, an egg. Anyway, before I get distracted, that's how uh, the pulse works. Obviously, depending on whether you're arriving or leaving. Uh, if you're arriving, then you're going to want to invert it. Because that's the leaving. When you get in, it's good. But the other way around, uh, I don't know why I did that. Because I need that there anyway. So the other way around, if you're arriving and your cart goes back onto the button with you in it, you don't want it to send your cart back into the Pez dispenser while you're in it because that will just make a mess. So what we need to do over here is invert what we've got right here. So I'm probably going to mess everything up, but it's worth a shot. Okay, now, now we just have an opposite system of the way it was before. It's not going to trigger when I step on the cart, but when I get off. Damn night time. How am I supposed to do a video with the night time? <sighs> Sorry. Okay. You can probably see it before, but it's much easier to see now. Now, it's just inverted. This one is always on, and this one is off. When you get onto the button, nothing's going to happen, because this signal is there, there red. It's only when you get off the button is that it's going to activate it. This is great for arrivals. La la la, I'm sitting at arrivals. That's cool and stuff. Oh yeah, but the boost is there and it's trying to take this cart back to the Pez dispenser. Well, I'll just get out then. Get out. Set the booster off and away you go. And that's how to use the pulse for both arrivals and departure pressure plate spots. If you enjoyed it, uh, favorite, like, whatever, subscribe if you want. <laughs> really, there is a way better videos out here. I don't know why people wanted me to do it, but there you go. And that's how it works. Thanks, bye.